Welcome to the Social Lens and thank you for watching. On August 30, 2023, a seismic shift in South African politics unfolded as former African National Congress ANC Secretary General Ace Mahashule unveiled his new political venture. Before we embark on this journey, let's rewind the tape a bit. ACE's decision to create ACT was a culmination of events that transpired over the past few years. In June 2021, ACE was expelled from the ANC, facing allegations of corruption and tarnishing the party's reputation. ACE vehemently denied these charges, vowing to clear his name and seek justice. His dramatic ousting from the ANC set the stage for what would become an intriguing political saga. On that fateful day in Soweto, Johannesburg, a stood before a crowd of supporters and critics alike, delivering a speech that would define the future of ACT. In his impassioned address, he pointed fingers at his former party, accusing the ANC of corruption and a departure from its core values. He declared that ACT would be a party for the people, dedicated to forging a brighter future for all South Africans. His words resonated with some, but left others skeptical. The launch of ACT has sparked a whirlwind of reactions, painting a complex picture of South African politics. Some have hailed it as a fresh voice for the opposition, while others view it as a potential threat to the ANC's dominance. As the dust settles, the question lingers, what lies ahead for ACT and South African politics? To understand the significance of ACT's emergence, we must delve into the controversial legacy of its founder, ACE. ACE, a prominent figure in South African politics, has been a lightning rod for controversy. He ascended to the ANC National Executive Committee in 2007 and held the position of Secretary General from 2017 to 2021. However, his tenure was marked by accusations of corruption and mismanagement. In 2018, ACE faced corruption charges related to a housing project in the Free State Province. Additionally, he was accused of turning a blind eye to corruption during his time as the Free State Premier. ACE vehemently denied these allegations and went on trial in 2021. The ANC's National Disciplinary Committee ultimately found ACE guilty of bringing the party into disrepute in May 2021, leading to his expulsion. In the months leading up to the ACT launch, ACE held a series of secretive meetings, setting the stage for his new political venture. These meetings were a telltale sign that a new political force was on the horizon. Fast forward to August 30, 2023 the day ACT was unveiled to the world. The reactions were immediate and diverse. The ramifications of ACT's birth are multifaceted. First, it could fracture the ANC vote, potentially making it harder for the party to secure victory in the next general election. Second, ACT might evolve into a formidable political force, posing a credible challenge to the ANC's decades-long reign. Third, the creation of ACT could also inject an element of instability into South African politics. A new party can stir up tensions and divisions within the nation. As the dust settles and the political landscape shifts, we are left with questions. Can ACT live up to its promise? Will it reshape the country's political trajectory? Only time will tell, but one thing is clear, ACE remains a magnetic and influential figure in South African politics, and his new party has the potential to redefine the nation's political narrative. If you found this video informative, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel. Until next time.